Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and joining me now is Colleen Pool Tejada, who uh, we're actually at this preview screening of his movie coming out, uh, NY MMA, New York MMA, which is going to be premiering at the New York Bronx Film Festival uh, coming up in about two weeks. So, Colleen, uh, just tell us a little bit about first your background, because I know you from originally you're making your highlight videos, and then this kind of uh, went into a whole new route. So, let's talk a little bit first about your past uh, and how you got involved in mixed martial arts. Um, well, I've been, mar and, yeah, I've been involved in martial arts my whole life. Um, my father uh, practiced karate and then I um, started taking kung fu and then get into san shao. Um, from there I got into MMA with jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing. Um, I was heavily into catch wrestling at one time and then just blends and started dealing with a lot of gyms and it was right up my alley. So. All right, now, I remember actually this NY MMA was a little webisode series you were doing, an episodic series about different parts of MMA, and I guess it kind of just spun out into this, this bigger movie. So tell us about, you know, how that process came along. Well, it was originally, in the long run, going to be a feature film. I wanted to essentially combine the series into a feature film, and then the guys from the Bronx Week Film Festival contacted me, and they let me know that they wanted to actually have what we had for um, the actual festival. Um, I just scrambled together because I had so much footage from the MMA Expo. I had stuff from the different gyms, um, my old gym, um, so much stuff, so much content. And from there, it was pretty much uh, easy to put everything together. I just had to go through all the archives, um, make sure everything was on point, essentially tell the story of what was going on with Brad, with the Combat Sambo, and then showing so much from the the rest of the gyms in New York City. They mentioned Brad. Brad Desir is the star of the film, or one of the stars, we should say. So give us a little overview about what the plot is of this film. Well, uh, without giving away too much, um, the plot is essentially just education. That's the main aspect. Education. Um, I guess my original tagline was education in a classy manner. You know, I didn't want to have it where it was too much about, you know, blaring rock music and crazy tattoos and all of that jazz. It had to be, well, yeah, mostly about jazz. It had to be soulful, it had to be personable. And going into Brad starting from an amateur into the pro circuit. Um, there's a lot more involving um, a lot of really notable stars, notable faces uh, involved in the sport. So definitely got to come and see it to uh, understand the rest. But... Yeah. All right, now you've got, of course, filming from all over the place. You're at the Tough Tryouts, you're at M1 Tryouts, you're at Strike Force things here and there. A lot of traveling. So tell us, you know, who was the, and you talked to a lot of people, who, who was the most surprising person that you talked to that said the most honest thing about Mixed Martial Arts in New York? Um, it's got to be my boy Josh. I'm a huge fan of Josh, Josh Barnett. Barnett. Yeah. Huge fan of him since I found out he was heavily into anime and he came out with the the Hokuto no Ken intro from Pride. So, you know, my catch wrestling mark and hearing his view on it, I was surprised that he was so connected to everything that was going on here and how much it angered him and I really wanted to catch that. Um, you just wouldn't expect it because he's all the way on the other side of the U.S. But he was just straightforward. He was, he was more New York than most New Yorkers I know. And I just really loved that and I definitely would like to um, get a chance to talk to him again. Um, hopefully he'll go out with us to dinner because he wasn't able to the last time at the old strike force thing. Uh, so yeah, me and Paul, I got a beef with you. Me too, just just because. All right now, I also want to talk about uh, you know hardcore MMA fans are going to see this movie no matter what. But what about mainstream fans in New York? Just people who don't even know what MMA is. Do you think this is going to appeal to those people? Uh, that was the original aim. It's easy to appeal to us, you know, martial artists, MMA fans, you know of all sorts, but to educate someone like a soccer mom, you know, let her understand what everything is. So I had to break it down to the most bare bones ABC terms, understand what is mixed martial arts, what's the essence of it, um, what it entails, and really show what the actual athletes are like. You know, not, I mean, no disrespect to the other, to the other artists out there to create the films, but it needed to be more from the heart, you know, not just show slow motion punching pads, um, not a few taglines with a black background, you know, it had to be something that really connected with them from how they woke up to <laughs> wiping the crust out of their eyes to actually showing them as a human being. So when you get to that point, then the general 
audience, the casual audience can really connect and really understand it. So they're not just saying, oh, that's Ultimate Fighting. Like, okay, that's that's MMA. This is this. This is that. So that's how I, that's how I feel. That's how people got me in certain things. And that's how I feel you can get the same way. All right. Now, how can New Yorkers go and see this project? Well, right now it's going to be at the Bronx Week Film Festival, which is going to be in the 16th. Um, we will be there um, in the very first night. So you can come on down. Uh, it's going to be at the Bruckner Bar and Grill. And uh, we'll be helping host the entire event. Um, just come down. It's going to be a lot of guys from there. Um, of course, all the East Coast, everybody. So you just come down there. We're going to try and push it even further, see where it can go. Um, we're getting some, um, some uh, big talk, some, a lot of positive talk in our favor. So it may go a lot farther than I originally planned. So just wait and see. Well, that's definitely a good thing because we'd like to see MMA in New York, and your movie will definitely help push that. And i got to say, you know, the full review will be up on the website a little bit later, but even just for a documentary on its own, not just about MMA, this stands on its own. It's, it's a good piece of work, so I'm really proud that you did this. It's, it's awesome. You guys better go see it. Kaleem, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you, man. Thank you.